<laughs> it's a problem calling out for a solution. But if this happens every day, everywhere, that there are glass surfaces. Wildlife researchers have raised the alarm for years about bird deaths from building collisions. Minnesota advocates protested as a study showed a stadium killed more than 100 a year. U.S. Fish and Wildlife estimates nearly a billion die annually. UW sure researcher Judy Bowes is approaching it from a design standpoint, searching for solutions. Student researchers track dead birds outside buildings on campus. They found 20 species, an estimated 10,000 die each year. Bowes says the solution isn't getting rid of all glass on buildings. That's not cost effective, and letting light in has health benefits. Instead, the goal is to target the most dangerous places. The hotspots that we expected to find birds, so the transparent walkways, of course, had a lot of collisions. Mm -hmm. um, transparent corners, which I suspected. But we also found that transparent railing um, was our number one hotspot on campus. There are types of bird safe glass and patterns that can be added to help birds realize there's a barrier in front of them. There are also kits you can buy to make changes at home. Moving forward, Bose plans to create a design guide focusing on danger spots. She hopes building sustainably will grow to include wildlife. It's great that we're protecting our own health and well-being, but we need to think about wildlife as well. <laughs> Researchers have created an app that you can download so you can collect your own data about the birds you find near you. Reporting in Seattle, Erica Zucco, King 5 News.